Hello everyone. Um, welcome back. This is Marcy here again with Marlo. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we are uh, discussing using our gifts. Yeah. Using our gifts that God has given all of us. And we all and, have them. Yes, and we all have them. Um, I guess that's the thing, you know, Matthew 25, 14, and 15. Uh, we've used the New International Version. Uh, again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called to his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability, and then he went on his journey. And if you continue reading through from there, it tells the story of he knew which ones could make him the most money off of what he gave them. So if he thought, and I'm going to say, we were making the joke a second ago about it's no different than a lot of things in this world. You know, no matter what kind of business, whether it's a legitimate business or an illegal yeah. business. You know, if you're selling a good that's illegal or you're selling drugs, the person that you give it to, you're going to give the most to the ones that's going to sell the most. Um, I guess it's kind of like a car salesman. You know, you're, you you want the best one. Better, that's the better one we need but, to use. Yeah. Anything, you know, that's what he's talking about, though. He entrusted them to use their talent, their gift. He knew certain ones would get a better return on what he gave them. Kind of like playing the stock market. The ones that are going to, you know, do the best is where you invest your money. Yeah. But there was also one that he gave to that he knew had the talent, and he gave them the five bags also. But they were scared of losing it. So they never took the chance on trying to make anything. They held on to it. They never used the talent they had. And that's what we're talking about, is the, the talents you've been given. Yeah. So, so basically the gifts or the talent that God has given you, all of you, he's given all of us a specific talent. We need to use it, push hard with it, because the talent he's given each and every one of us is meant for people around you, people you love, the world at some point for a lot of other people. And you know, you we do, debated on bringing in that point about like drug deals, yeah. but if you think about it, that goes exactly with this. These people have been given a gift. They know how to make money. They yeah. can turn product into money. They can sell. They are good salesmen. But yeah. look how they chose to use their gift. Yep. Yeah. There are so many times that you can still use your gift, but you're not using it the right way. Yeah. It all comes down to using it for God. Yeah. For His, for his glory. glory, not his kingdom. for your own selfish worldly wants and needs mm -hmm. um you know there's many stories you talk about you know we've read a story about a woman that you know played piano as a child she didn't use her gift she forgot how to play after several years but she had two friends that both played piano they both used their gift and continued to feed their their gift yeah and they were able to actually one became a music teacher, one led an orchestra um, because they fed it. And I guess that, like we said, it pertains to so many things, but what interests me is, you know, reading about this, God gives us the best gift of all. Yes. Faith. Hey. What do you do with your faith? Yep. Do you feed it? Do you put your faith in the box in the corner and not mess with it and it just wilts away? Or do you feed your faith every yeah. day? Do you feed it every day? Do you help others feed their faith? You know, these are this is a, a pure talent that he's given us. And I, I know there's a lot of people out there who aren't doing nothing with it. They, they don't have faith for some odd reason. You know, they've, they've had it and it's went away. Well, for those people, 
and the people who still have faith because it's it's our duty to continue to push faith grow our faith the more faith we have out here in this world the more our light will shine as bright as it needs to shine to continue to win the fight on earth right now we're fighting such a huge fight and it's our faith that we we can overcome it's the only way we get through it yeah our faith it truly is yeah, and that's what you don't want to lose you don't want to lose your faith that's the, so one of the ultimate gifts he can give us he, he's given us your faith needs to stay strong know that you'll get through anything as long as you put god first ask for his help for those who have not put him first it's time to put him first god I, you can't do you ask you ask him god tell him i can't do it on my own i need you i i need you to help me i need my faith to grow stronger put your faith in god and you know nothing grows without feeding it no nothing you know i don't care what it is you get a pet as a child you don't feed it it dies you'll be flushing your goldfish because you didn't feed it face the same way it needs to be fed you have to feed this gift yeah. and you have to pray you have to read the bible you have to feed it that's how you feed your faith but not just faith he gives us so many gifts yeah he may have given you the gift of you know art he may be, you're a, a wonderful artist a musician you play guitar you play piano you sing you know you dance you dance all these things bring joy to the world mm -hmm. it's just using them for him for others that's what he wants is to love others for us to be happy and you can <laughs> I, bring so much joy I, I'm not sure but I feel like at some point well at at the point when we're sitting there in front of him, he's going, well, he already knows, but he's going to ask us, well, what'd you do with the gifts I've given you? Yeah. Did, did you not just share yeah. Yeah. the voice that I've given you with other people? Not just yourself in the bathroom? Yeah. You know, he's going to ask us about our gifts. I mean, he already knows. But what did you do with them? But what you do with them? Yeah, you know, they say we have to account for everything we've done in this world on our judgment day. And he has given us so much. You know, he gave us this earth. Have we taken care of it? Have we tried to take care of it? Yeah. Have we enjoyed what he's given us? Truly enjoyed it. But that's not the only thing he has given us. He has given us gifts that aren't just for us. Yeah gifts that we were to use for others what have you done with your gifts including your faith yeah no matter what kind of gift he's given you you have to feed it you have to take care of it otherwise your gift dies yeah so so use use the gifts god's given you if you guys don't know what it is find it pray <laughs> find it pray pray for it Pray for it. Ask him. Continue to pray. Continue to grow your faith. If you have something you're good at and you just think to yourself, I'm really good at this, but what in the world is it for? What can I possibly do with this? Then you need to sit down and ask God. Yep. You've given me this. I'm wonderful at doing this. God help me to see what I'm supposed to do with it. He'll show you the way. He will show you the way. All right, everyone, I think that's all we have for today on this. Use your gifts. Use them wisely. Use them for God. Enjoy what he's given us. Uh, we have a Facebook page. You're, we would love for you to check it out and join us there. Uh, we do Inspirations Daily. You can find that down below in the descriptions. We have an email if you have anything you want to talk about, any video ideas, prayer requests, anything yeah. like that. We would love to hear from you there. You can find that down below also. 
And as for the rest of it, I think we're done for today. We hope you all have a wonderfully blessed day. May God bless us all. Bye-bye.